All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I'm going to show you how to connect this to this. Because, well, it's got a pretty detailed instruction booklet, but sometimes seeing is a little bit easier than trying to read the instruction booklet. Especially if you're like me when the first time I plugged this in and tried to get it to work, it was like 10 o'clock at night, and I was going to try to game with it in about 15 minutes. So, pretty standard process. You need the wireless dongle or the Xbox One controllers because they use some sort of Wi-Fi voodoo to get this to talk to your computer. Other Bluetooth won't cut it. And you'll also need a controller and preferably one that has some type of battery pack in it. This is a rechargeable one. You can just stuff two AA batteries in here and call it a day. We don't, we don't need to be fancy. We just need to get it done, right? So we'll just, if I can get the back plate on this again. So first step is I'm going to plug this in to my computer. Boom, done. Second step, this boy needs to be woken up. Press the little Xbox button, easy way to do it. So now there's a little button on the side of this dongle. It's the only button on it. Press and hold it. There's a little light on the back side that'll start to blink and be like, what? You have a controller? Where is it? I want to talk to it. So after that, there's another little button on the back of the Xbox controller. You see that? Press and hold it for, I don't know, several seconds. And then it'll start wigging out. Be like, oh my gosh, do I have a friend? And then you're like, yeah, you you got a friend. Or at least it should. Yep, there it goes. You'll know it prepared when it turns a solid color and stops blinking. And then this turns a solid light and stops blinking. Boom, done. You're connected and ready to game. Now, whenever you plug this in and then you press your controller and mess with it, it should automatically connect. Now this will, if you don't mess with it for a certain amount of time, it'll go to sleep and then this light will turn off. Just click the Xbox button, press the buttons a bunch, it'll wake up be like, what, huh? You Oh, gaming, that's right. That's my exact only for reason to exist. And then this light will light up and you'll be able to go. Now it's worth noting that you can have more than one of these plugged into your computer. I would just say pair them individually and maybe put them in a couple different spots because if you put them right on top of one another, it gets a little bit confusing which one's connected and which one's turned on. Because fun fact, if you layer these on top of each other, the light from the one underneath is bright enough to glow through the plastic and make it seem like the top one is also turned on. So just, you know, fun fact. Um, otherwise, when you unplug this and just plug this in via a controller or with a cable to your PC, it should just switch over automatically and then back and forth. Makes charging this bad boy a breeze so you don't have to worry about like running on 5% battery and then having to mess with your controller before getting back to the action. So that's been how you pair your Xbox One controller to your Windows PC with the little wireless dongle and be ready to play with it. Until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one. Bye.